All right, so very disappointed. I'm like right here at the Vietnam and China border, like 10 more kilometers to go to get to the border. And I want to go there and eat some Vietnamese food, but uh, they won't let me cross here. They have a COVID testing facility down there. And uh, right here you have a re register. And um, unfortunately I can't, I can't go any farther because, uh, I don't know, because of the virus, because of the pandemic. Um, so I have this, so I'm allowed to go back because there's a checkpoint the other way too. Otherwise, I'd probably just get st stuck in a, an infinite time loop where I just can't go anywhere. So they gave me this that says I can go back to where I came from. And uh, I guess I can do what I want to do. So I hate this stupid pandemic. All right, so now I'm going back the other way on this uh, checkpoint. The sign right here says, if you leave this city, Dongxing, that I was trying to get to on the border, you have to have a... Uh, 48 hours or less negative COVID test. That's how China controls the virus, but it doesn't make traveling any easier, does it? So I don't want to get anybody in trouble here. Like if the Chinese government somehow was watching my YouTube video, uh, well, but this checkpoint, right? Here, they made me get out of the car, the guy who was checking everything. And he's like, get your passport, get your driver's license, get all your information. And then uh, go over here, pull over to the side of the road, park, and uh, and get, bring all your information. Presumably probably to a supervisor or somebody in the, who gets to sit inside in the warmth. But uh, so I went in there <laughs> with my stuff. And uh, as soon as I got in there, the guy's like, why go around? Oh no, Nizo, Nizo. Like he's like, you go, you go. So um, yeah, it's, they don't want to have to deal with that paperwork or whatever process it is of dealing with a foreigner, which is more intensive labor probably for a guy sitting there trying to keep warm. Uh, just in a room by himself. So uh, off I go. Shame it didn't work going the other way. Because I didn't get to go to where I wanted to go. But oh well. Still have While my Neo is downstairs underground charging, I'm going to give you a little taste of the Apple iCar just launched in China. You better be ready for this iCar. Pretty dope, huh? I love QQ Bing Chi Ling. I love ice cream. So they have the QQ ice cream pudding edition for 30,000. QQ ice cream uh, Tian Jian or something? Anyhow. And then the most expensive one, the ice cream sundae for 4.39. That's 44,000. Uh, yeah. 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 可以快充吗什么快充可以还是都是慢充嗯应该不会泡到深圳对吧你要开到深圳去了在深圳没没见过这这辆车这台是广西还是国产的是安徽那边安徽哦是腾讯吗 这里好卖吗？挺好卖的，最快是多多多快？可以开一百吗？可以吗？可以。哇，十二月二十八号刚上市，是一个多月。一个月啊，对。Nice. So this is the real China. This is the China I don't show you guys because well, I show you. What am I talking about? I show you sometimes. Tongshan Yongping. Uh, so China is just full of these like tiny little cities that are all really like more or less the same like you've seen a lot of big cities are taking you to if you've been watching my channel but you know I don't, I don't often take you to like city I take you to the countryside or the mountain or a big city and uh, all these little Chinese cities that are, have like nothing going for them it's super quiet right now because it's Chinese New Year still, Spring Festival. But even so, like a lot of the Chinese, these little cities, like you go in these little neighborhoods and there's just like, there's no economic activity. It's just so not vibrant, like nothing's going on. You see like a lot of women working usually and then like guys just standing around doing nothing, maybe playing, playing cards or drinking beers. But uh, usually there's not much going on. Here's a, a fake KFC. This one is got a Western guy here, cowboy. Let's go look. 
I've never been here. I literally just walked out the door. I, I came from under, uh, underground, parked my car, came up and saw the, the I-car. So this is Baker Hambal, and this guy with a cowboy hat is named Baker. And they're not making any money, so they want to do it wrong. I mean, it's like, let somebody else rent this place. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, a lot of these places, not a ton of economic activity going on. Hello. Hello. Hi. Let's take a little walk while my car is charging. See what we can find. I really want some Vietnamese pho, some rice noodles. But so far, very bad luck. Dongbei Xiao Kao is uh, Eastern China, Northeast China barbecue. Here we have milk tea, some fried chicken. So it's nice and bright and everything's lit up, but as you can see, quiet little town. Not much traffic, not many people out. Again, Chinese New Year, but even so, you still get, you still get, uh, towns like this where there's not a lot going on. Dongbei, more northeast food. We're in the southwest China, but northeast food is everywhere because northeastern food is delicious. Here's local specialty. So you got old friend rice noodles, goose I guess. And you got a duck. Interesting. I might have to try this because I've never had Lao Yo Gan Su Fen. I can't even read it. I don't even know what it says. But ultimately, I want Vietnamese noodles. So, one good thing I guess I should talk about China. I love that China has so much mixed use development. So, you got like a hotel right here, you got restaurants, and you got apartments here more restaurants you got some offices I'm sure up here you got internet cafe I know probably a lot of people might think it's crowded and noisy and it might be I don't know it might it might be it might not be I don't know but generally speaking like at night it's pretty quiet in China and uh, even it might be you might feel a little bit crowded but you walk outside of your house and you can eat at one of these multitudes of Chinese restaurants doesn't seem to be much else besides that fried chicken shop, which is going out of business. You can go get your phone repaired or buy an iPhone. Ooh, that looks like a, maybe Shanxi restaurant, perhaps? They have Roja Mo and Liang Pi, so that's like Xi'an restaurant. Xi'an is awesome food. There you go. Ooh, there's a Hua Lai Shi. Hualai Shi is like that baker restaurant that I just showed you, but actually it's like a good version of it. It's still not good. It's still crap fried chicken. It's not that bad. It's like KFC basically. Like a real a real knockoff KFC. And it's better than Dicko's. Dicko's is like in every lower tier Chinese city. They don't really have them that much in the higher tier cities because the higher tier cities definitely have KFC and McDonald's, but Dicko's is every train station and every low tier city. So I'm surprised I haven't seen one yet. But here's Wallace, Hualaisha. A lot of people in there. Doing good business on Chinese New Year. We got a nightclub, KTV. I might have to just eat at Wallace. I might have to go get a chicken burger because there isn't a ton open. Or I can get noodles. Oh, the, the old friend noodles. I'll get that.